welcome back to the Constitution Line by Line. I'm political scientist Paul Fabrizio. And I'm historian Don Frazier. Does, doesn't it sound better when you say the title first? Yeah, it's kind of, kind of odd. It's dignified. It's dignified, <laughs> and we're into that. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're wearing ties and suits yeah, when we do we're this. We're very stuffy. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, we're talking about Article 3, Section 2, Clause 1, Part F. Foxtrot. There you go. The judicial power shall extend between citizens of the same state claiming lands under grants of different states. Okay. To modern ears, that seems what really ridiculous. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, for starters, we've got a country where we haven't quite figured out what the western boundary is. I mean, it's the Mississippi, but what's the western boundary of North Carolina, for instance? That wasn't defined? Well, it was originally defined as the coast of North Carolina, but under the British colonial system, the western boundary there went was, all, went to oblivion. There wasn't one. Yeah, it so just I mean, sort of just long, str- yeah, just long strips as far west as you could go. And I guess the plan was, should all that territory come into British possession, then you'd have to sort it out. Now they tried to sort it out with uh, the rule of 1763 that said, all right, none of you guys can go west of the Appalachians anyway. But remember, when you when these colonies are first founded, it wasn't an issue because the French were out there. Okay, so All you right. didn't want to go out there. So after 1763, the French are gone, and the British say, well, that's fine. You can't go west of those mountains anyway, or we will give you a good talking to. Okay. And they did it anyway. And they went out of North Carolina into what is now eastern Tennessee. Did they get um, a talking to? Well, the, the, the talking to led to the Battle of Kings Mountain, but oh. anyhow, it's... Long and convoluted history, but it's interesting history because Americans wander west. (laughs) And Virginia was given land grants in what becomes Ohio right and left. And so all of a sudden, you might have a Virginia land grant in southern Ohio after Ohio becomes a state. And Ohioans going to you saying, well, that's not a valid land grant anymore because the state of Virginia gave it to it, not the state of Ohio. Or North Carolina gave that to you, not the state of Tennessee. Virginia did, not Kentucky. See how this works? Yeah. And so, uh, or Georgia, not Alabama, Mississippi, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And don't even get me started on foreign land grants. Oh, the Spanish. Uh, Spanish land grants in in, uh, New Mexico and Texas and California. French land grants in Louisiana. Yeah. I mean, there's all sorts of prior claims on real estate. The same land could have been given to different people by different authorities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Because a lot of times you're giving away land to veterans. And you care about them. That's right. And this essentially is what happens with, uh, in lieu of a retirement benefit or a pension. You just give them acreage that they could locate out on the frontier. Well, if you're in the Virginia militia, fought, you know, did your part, got a commission, and were rewarded with a land grant, you're going out there where the land is good and there's nobody on it. Well, that's southern Ohio, as it turns <laughs> out. And Washington's one of the guys that's actually eyeballing Ohio. So this is important at the very at the time at the time at the very foundation of this country. And you can see then why the federal government would want to step in. It's, and be the and have of these yeah things. and have jurisdiction. Otherwise, it's just a mare's nest. Yeah. Uh, but these cases still occasionally come up with uh, foreign land grants, especially Spanish, oh, Spanish land grants. Yeah, here in Texas. Yeah, here in Texas, all over the place. And so uh, it still has a, uh, a shadow uh, uh, resonance, I guess, mm-hmm. uh, throughout American history. But it just seems peculiar. How long did it take? to, for the most part, resolve these border issues, these boundary issues. Are you talking about from the the legacy of the colonial? The legacy of the colonial period till everybody knows we're now in Ohio. Yeah. Everybody knows we're now in Tennessee. How how long did that take? Well, these states fill up pretty quick, so probably about three generations. It's it's kind of no longer relevant. Okay. 
1820s, 1830s. Yeah, yeah early 19th century, a bunch of this stuff is kind of unkinked. Yeah. But then when you have the Mexican session, okay. now all of a sudden, well, I've got a land grant from you know yeah. the Veramendis, and they gave me this territory in this particular river valley. Or I came in under the impresario system. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people look at Anglo impresarios in Texas history, like Stephen F. Austin. Mm-hmm. There's also a lot of Mexican impresarios. Okay, you need to explain what you're talking well, about. Well, an impresario is essentially a land agent hired okay. that was designated by the government of Mexico to go in and attract colonists. And mm-hmm. they were compensated with land. Okay. So they didn't pay them. We'll pay you $20,000 to go round up some colonists. They said, look, if you'll go round up X number of colonists, with Austin it was 300 Okay. Uh, we will give you five times whatever we give them. So if they Whoa. get a league and a labor, you will get five leagues and five labors. Wow. And so that was a way for impresarios to all of a sudden amass a huge amount of territory. But we look at Stephen F. Austin, and he's an American, mm-hmm. but there's also Mexican impresarios doing the exact same thing. So what happens to their claims once Texas becomes part of the United States? Or what if it was a royal grant of land down in the Rio Grande Valley? Yeah. Somebody's got to have jurisdiction. This sets this up. Federal government. Yeah. Federal courts. Very good. Okay, so that's our line. And we'll have another line next time.